I've studied these emotions that I write about, um, and they're really the focus of my lab and this book, Born to Be Good. Emotions like compassion and reverence and laughter. You know, we so underappreciate play and silliness and love and gratitude and modesty. Um, what became really apparent to me as I learned to see these emotions in other people scientifically, and then very interestingly, took that knowledge and sort of engaged in an act of self-reflection is that those emotions tell me when I'm leading a meaningful life, when I feel grateful or when I feel reverential or respectful towards somebody or compassionate. Um, and that I feel how they hum in my nervous system and feel all the chemical effects of them, which is you feel a sense of greater purpose and deep well-being. Uh, and so for me, those emotions are the key. And, you know, it's interesting when you, when people study uh, in psychological science, really older people, right, who are always important to think about, you know, as they near death, uh, they, there's this idea of generativity that becomes the central theme in an old person's life, which is, and it really is founded on feelings of appreciating what people give them and a sense of kindness and, and gratitude. So those to me are the, the, the pathways to the good life. Mm -hmm.